Greetings and welcome to another video. It is Wednesday the 10th of July 2019 and as you can see we're outside the House of Fraser and Zara shops in Telford Town Centre. Okay. And if you look over here there's the fountain. Real nice fountain that is, do enjoy watching that as it go past. And if we turn around this way, got car park, M&S shop over there, and the big blue building in front of us is uh, something to do with like businesses that operate from Temple Town Centre. I don't know which business is operating there, but there we are. But where we're going to go today. is this way underneath the underpass there so let's get going more often than not Depending on the day of the week and the time of day it is, you'll have buskers uh, playing their drums or playing their guitars in this underpass, trying to earn some uh, coin. It's always good to see buskers, well, legitimate bus uh, buskers anyway. And if I've got some spare coins going on, I'd like to donate them or something. Now, if you were to go that way, that will take you to the Odeon Cinema. Uh, it's a nice cinema, as you'd expect it shows some good films from time to time. So, yeah. And if you follow the path round that way, to the right, far enough, you'll get to the local police station. Telford, 1968 to 1918. 50 year birthday statue. Nice one. So let's get up these steps. So we've just come from that way. And where we want to go is up this way. So you get to here. Like I say, that way takes you to the Odeon Cinema. But we're not going that way. We're sticking up this way. There's a... Uh, there's something slightly important up this way. So let's go have a look. So if you go up the path and look to your right, this is what you'll see here. This little statue, sculpture. I don't know what it's meant to represent. I can't see any uh, plaque or information signposts. Uh. Well, I guess it's something to do with the uh, geological 
and geographical history of Telford and Shropshire as a whole. So yeah, but that's that. But what we're really looking at is just over here. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to the statue of Thomas Telford, the uh, engineer and entrepreneur that the town of Telford is named after. And immediately in front of him is this really beautiful pond. And I think there's uh, some inf there's a little information post right behind him, so let's go have a look at that. Thomas Telford, 1757 to 1834, founder, president of the Institution of Civil Engineers, surveyor of public works for Shropshire, sculptor Andre Wallace, 19. 88. The Thomas Telford sculpture was unveiled by Mr. H. W. A. Francis, President of the Institution of Civil Engineers, supported by Mr. R. G. Harris, Glenwood Foundries, Mr. A. Nagai, Hitachi Maxell Limited, Dr. T. S. Lin. Taitung Company, 8th April 1988. That's pretty cool, that is. Very impressive. And if we look over to our left, we've got the Telford Justice Centre, local magistrate courts and other court magistrate courts and other related stuff. And if we look over to our right, we've got New Town House. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't know what kind of business happens in Newtown House. I'll have to look that up some other time, maybe. Telford, 1968 to 2018, 50 years. Thomas Telford statue and Telford Square refurbished thanks to Telford and Regan Council. Telford at 50 Legacy Fund. Pride in our community, a cooperative council, Telford and Regan Council. The clocks in this tower were donated by Epson Telford Limited, March 1990. Grand Prix European the La Antanta Floral 1990 for Telford. And as you can see up there, we've got a clock tower going on. Yes, let's go up the steps for a minute. So uh, this building here at the top of everything, of everything we mean to say. But if we uh, turn 180 degrees. This is a view of everything, of everything from the top end here. Quite nice up here at this moment in time. So yeah. 
really beautiful sight. Wow. Yeah, of Thomas Telford. So we just come up this way for a minute and just go to, to, ah, to the top of those steps. Telford Bridge Retail Park is this way. Let's go and have an explore. Yes. They're just going to have explored this way for a moment because of randomness. But if ever you get the chance in one of your many visits to Telford Town Centre to come by this way to see that pond and the statue of Thomas Telford if you've got an interest in local history and all that it's a nice place to take a photo of or whatever and if you're on your lunch break or whatever and happen to be in this part of town nice spot to have a sarnie outside while the weather's nice Nineteen eighty-eight, Hall Park Way Bridge. Hall Park Way Bridge incorporates the original cast iron girders, which previously formed part of the Cound Bridge near Shrewsbury, designed by Thomas Telford in eighteen eighteen and dismantled in nineteen sixty-seven. Telford Development Corporation. Okay, so that's the bridge we're on at the moment. So it looks like we find ourselves at Telford Bridge Retail Park. Which is over here. So we have some of the usual suspects you'll find at most retail parks. Got Argus over there, Mothercare, and over there B&Q and Halfords. So we're just going to head back over the bridge, back to where we started, and I'll see you in a moment. So here we are, back with the statue of Thomas Telford. So yes, and the square in front of him, where he lives. And that note, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, it's been a good day today, which I've been grateful about. I want to thank everyone for watching this video, and. I hope you too have also had a good day today and that you all will have a pretty good week ahead of you. Take care yourselves, thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon in the next video. Take care and goodbye.